Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to All About Jamie. When you see me holding a shopping bag, it just means that we are going to get an unboxing video today. Guys, guess what I have in this paper bag right here? It is a Dior and it's going to be a bag. Any guesses? I just want to show you guys firstly the Christmas packaging for Dior this year. And I really like this shade of blue and how they did it with the butterflies. Because I love butterflies and as you can see, I put on my Von Cleef butterfly and vol ring today for this video so it's going to be something related to butterflies maybe now let's get started so i've been on the lookout for a travel bag and the thing is that when i travel i would always have like a little tiny handbag on myself daily possibly a Kelly, a mini Kelly or a mini Birkin. I usually don't like to go for the larger Birkins or Kelly because it's too heavy for me and it kind of like looks clumsy and of course, you know, I don't like to carry heavy bags. I always end up making Terence carry like the cameras and stuff. So I decide that I need to find a bag that would fit nicely these things that I need when I travel. So usually I will bring a Dior book tote in the medium size. It used to be the large size because the original book tote came out only in the very large size. So I was using that for uh, all my travels and it is indeed quite big. So in this video, I'm going to show you dif different sizes of bag. Okay, I think I let the cat out of the bag already, kinda, that in this Dior bag. It's going to be a book tote, but which one will it be? Let's do this, guys. I do love all the Christmas packaging from the brands and this one is from Dior. One of the main reasons why I love Dior so much is they are after a girl um, like me who loves her flowers and her butterflies. Let's take this ribbon off to have a closer look at the box because I think sometimes the box that the bag comes in during the holiday season looks better than the bag inside. So there guys, admire the beautiful iridescent butterfly motifs. They're like kind of um, iridescent as well. It has got some shine, some metallic shines but yeah, okay my butterfly ring is very heavy. It just loves to move around but this is already like a very very small size. I'm a size 47 by the way so if anybody wants to send me any more Von Cleef rings, I am a size 47 on my fourth finger. <laughs> right so let's open this box and it is in the small size. Finally, I managed to find a nice tote bag that I like in the small size and I want to see because this is the first time I would be putting anything in this bag. I did an unboxing reel that day but I did not um, put anything inside so today I'm going to do it together with all of you to see if this is really going to work for me as a travel bag and you'll see what I fit into my travel and you'll see what I fit into like on a daily basis when I'm traveling I will have a handbag of course but my handbag is not, not going to fit my camera and stuff so that's why I always need a second bag during my travel days to put all that you know things that I need. So let's do this now. It's really nicely packed. I love how fresh and stiff this is and I'm actually also wearing an outfit to match this bag so I'm getting very you know 
excited to unveil this bag, and this is her in the small size, super light and comfortable. Let's take the stuffing out so we can have a look inside. Okay, so it comes with like this. What is this? I usually don't even. Okay, authenticity card, and it has got cardboard inside to maintain the shape. Which is very thoughtful. Yep, it's nice to always receive a fresh new bag like that. I like how stiff it is because my other tote bags, they're not quite as stiff as this one. I don't know if it's because I've like stuffed a lot of things in them before, um, and this is brand new, so maybe that's why. But I just want to show this to you guys. She's very, very pretty. When I saw this bag on display at a Dior event, I knew immediately I had to get this tote bag. I have always been wanting a smaller tote bag. I thought the medium was small enough, but the medium gets kind of heavy as well. I've used the medium like all the time when I travel. Uh, fits all my stuff. But the problem is I tend to put more and more stuff inside when the bag is bigger, you know what I mean? And then it gets heavier and heavier. It gets out of shape and all and oh my God. So this one has got like butterfly appliques on it. Okay, I'm just going to move closer. Oh because it's like matchy-matchy with my ring. So there are butterfly appliques all around the tote bag. Well, here there are three butterflies playing. And this is the back of the bag on the other side. And yep. So it kind of has that lacy effect as well. You can see that it's a little bit translucent here. You can see that from my skin color here which could be a problem so i i was like oh so you can peer through this handbag when i use it kinda and i really would like to put a bag organizer inside so that i wouldn't ruin the lace i don't know if you call that lace but i guess it's like kind of see-through ish at the bottom, it doesn't have like extra bottom piece. So I would really hate to dirty this. It's the same material as the rest of the bag. So let's try to see what I can fit into this small size tote bag before we go on talking about the rest of the tote bags that I already own. Now to put this camera neatly into the bag. I feel like the organizer probably like uh, compromised with the space a little bit but still it's good to have it. Next I need my wet tissues always always clover soft. I will put into one of the compartment right here and now let's fit the vlogging camera. So this is what I used to vlog and then this is the mic that you guys always complain about. I don't know why. I hear myself pretty darn well. I would just hate to scratch my Leica camera. So, yep, kind of slanted. Okay, fits, fits nicely in here. And then the mic at the corner. Now, let's see if my makeup pouch safely goes inside. I think I did quite well. It's a little bit of a challenge, but yeah, it will kind of stick out. So yeah, maybe, maybe I won't get another one of this bag. Okay, now this is what it's going to look like. Of course, my SD card reader. All right, now we're done. Such a perfect match with this white dress. And I chose this color, it's like my dream color. I know it'll get dirty easily, but what the heck. I love my white dresses and that is why I need white tote bag. Looks so romantic. And I think it is also perfect for uh, like a beach holiday, like when you're on a beach vacation, it looks perfect. It's just very, you know, casual, not trying too hard. 
So guys, this is the organizer that I will be using for this tote bag. I know it's not a matching color. I'm hoping to get a white one and Bag Puff is making me like a few colors so that I could match them to my bag. Um, I think that the size that is for my Birkin 25 would safely fit into this bag, but let's try it. So this one I like very much because it has got four pockets inside which keeps the things organized and not falling all over. I like to put maybe things like my wet tissues into these compartments and they don't just go floating around. So this one, let's try it. I think it's a good fit. This, the one for Birkin 25 fits perfectly into this Dior book tote. Not bad. In fact, I quite like this colour on the bag because if I get like a cream colour, it would lose that transparency effect right here. So this looks like skin and quite perfect for this one. So let's see what I usually need on a daily basis when I travel. I always have my Leica camera with me when I travel. So when I am at a place where I want to make some pictures. So this is the camera that I use to make my pictures. Of course, an SD card reader because it's just faster that way than downloading direct from the camera. So let's um, do it from another angle so you can see if I manage to fit all that I need into this bag. I think there's so much shit that I'm putting into my pouch but actually I don't need every one of them. Usually I have like a vial of perfume that I'm using for that day so I've got all my perfumes in different different tinier vials. Um, yep, today I'm using the Muguet. Coincidentally, I found it here. So that will go in. And of course, a spoolie in case the wind blows and my lashes go out of place. I always have a spoolie in hand. I have got Zyzal, this medication. I need to have it with me all the time because I suffer from hives. And whenever I feel a hive coming, I will take one of this antihistamine. So it's very, very important because if I don't have this medication around and I start hiving soon, it will be all over my body. And I tell you guys, the itch and the pain, it's so itchy, it becomes painful. It swells up, it's red, it's angry. Um, yeah, I need this with me all the time. I do have blotters, like these Japanese blotters that I buy from Kyoto whenever I visit. This one is the one I swear by. I don't usually blot my face very much because my skin is not um, oily. It's quite normal. My skin is normal. It doesn't get oily. It's not dry either. So I guess I'm just blessed with perfect skin. <laughs> okay. Yep, I like to have my clay de paw compact powder because it's slim, it's translucent, it just works for me. I've had this, no, I, I've been using this particular one, not that I've had this like for 10 years. Of course, I think I have four or five of this, but this one I have been using um, this particular compact powder for like more than 10 years. Uh, lipstick of the day. Today, I'm using the Dior number 100, my favorite nude of all time. Any brand Dior nude is the best for me. Um, number 100, if you guys want to try. It's a little bit matte and I love it. I have to have my whitening eye drops. I have got Napcon A for days when my eyes are red. Usually, like before I shoot, I will put a drop of that, but um, not all the time. I try not to use it because it can be addictive. So I have usual eye drops like this gentle, genteel uh, one, which is very hydrating as well for like times when my eyes feel a little bit dry. Of course, I have my lip liner, the nude one. Just keeps my um, lipstick in place. It doesn't uh, bleed out of my lips too much when I use a lip liner. A lip gloss, I will put it in. Of course, a comb, because my hair could get frizzy. 
It's always nice to have a comb and this special um, tortoise shell comb. I've had it for a long time. It's from Alexander de Paris, one of my favorite brands, hair accessories. So you can see that I can fit everything nicely into this makeup pouch. This mini size I use almost on a daily basis. In fact, on a daily basis, if I need to hop out to the store for something, uh, the grocery store, even nursery, I use this to go for my Pilates class. I know it's strange, but uh, my Pilates class is just like a, a stone throw where I usually take my buggy out. So I don't need like a whole lot of stuff. Plus I don't make up when I go for my exercise. All I need is like my wet tissue and um, to put my phone and my sunglasses and that's about it. So this one, I want to look for another color. If I do see a nice color, I definitely want to have another of the mini Dior book tote. The new version actually comes with a strap, which uh, I don't really like it. Um, I don't need the strap because I like to use my bags like this. Really cute and light. You don't have to put up with the weight of leather. Let's look at the big boys. This very, very large one, the original book tote, is super big. I remember I was using these bags when I was on holiday to South Africa. I took it to a safari and this one I used in a Malfi coast. It was big, man. So I have my name embroidered onto the bag, which I would advise you guys against it unless you're really sure that you will keep this bag for the rest of your life because I had two of this and of course um, I had two of the largest size and both had my name on it which I really regretted later on because I wanted to sell the larger size so that I can buy more mini sizes um, the large size just don't work for me eventually and um, yeah, I just would prefer even the medium and I had to find another Jamie to buy the bag for me. So that's why I'm still stuck with another Jamie. Any other Jamies who might appreciate the large Dior book tote? Yeah, please DM me. Um, and I've got two of the medium, which you can see that they are very well used because uh, I have took them on at least 10 trips, I'm pretty sure, and stuff my whole life into them. That's why they're kind of out of shape. But I think I'll keep these two babies with me forever. So that's fine. Because they have really traveled far and wide with me across the world. I think they're worth keeping um, as my best travel companions. So I still like the medium size a lot because I think it fits whatever I need. Like when I'm on a long haul flight, that is a good size for me because sometimes I put things like snacks, um, maybe like a shawl, perhaps like a photo cardigan. Let me see what else would I bring on a long haul flight that I just need to chuck it in. Um, the large one is really good if you want to put a change of clothes. Like I still like it for shoot days where maybe I need to have a change of clothes, I'll just use the large one and put my stuff in it. So you can see how big this one is and I always, always struggle with it. It's so big. I think it could fit me. It could fit Callista in there. Not, not me probably, but Callista could go in there. Very, very big. This one is just right. But it gets kind of heavy when I put more things inside. This one is okay, but it does look like I'm struggling just a teeny weeny bit with it. But of course, spacious enough to fit whatever you need. They're all useful in their own ways. I wouldn't say that which is my um, absolute favorite. I mean, they all have their own uses, but I gotta say like, shh, I just don't want them to hear it. My absolute favorite, I think, is this mini one. On days, even in Singapore, when I 
use very tiny bags when I'm going for dinner or an event. I usually have to double bag with this one. So she is very close to my heart and I really want to get another color for that. We come to the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and leave your comments what you think of the sizes of the Dior book tote if we have the same idea about them and stuff and of course I'll see you all in my next video really soon and thank you for watching.